Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is going to be first impressions of the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. This palette, just look at that artwork. Beautiful. And it also, because it's based on a story, comes with a card and this has got the whole story on it. So yeah, it's inspired by the heartbreaking tale of Orpheus and Eurydice. I'm not sure how to say that. But I think this is just so unique to have the story that it's based on. Uh, this here is the colour story. Absolutely beautiful. So if you would like to see how I created this look and hear my first impressions of the Meet Me in the Underworld palette, then just keep on watching. Oh my god, I am so excited to get into this. So first I'm going into footsteps and I'm going to place that on the inner part of my crease. That's pretty. There's no kick up at all. Nice. Not that I mind kick up. But... Oh, look at that colour. Look at that colour. I have been just waiting for this to arrive, just desperate to play. And she's here and look at that. I know I had uh, Teresa, um, I will link her channel in the description box below, but Teresa um, she did the face swatches with it and she said to me, you're going to love it. So if you would like to see more videos with this palette, then head on over to Teresa's channel. Um, that's my new, new alert tone, sorry. Um, oh, look at that. Wow. So yeah, I now have all of the palettes from Lois Cosmetics. The Gone Rogue is one of my absolute favourite palettes ever. It is just amazing. And the Rose Metal, and the Rose Metal is just absolutely stunning. The quality of Lois Cosmetics eyeshadows is just of high end standard and better than a lot of high-end like formulas I've tried. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that colour. Alright, I'm just going to take a bigger fluffy brush just to gently just buff the edge there so it's not a harsh line and it's so easy oh wow so good I don't know what I'm beating up there um, and then for the outer part of my crease I am going in with woodland I've got to get some green in there somehow there's the tiniest bit of kick up in this shade but nothing major oh look at this I'm in love with this shade look at that I'm not worried about blending just yet just getting the color placement oh, I am loving this and I love the story behind it which I've probably shown you the card in the intro um yeah i love how that was done yeah just in case you missed the intro or skipped through it there is this card that comes with it and it is the whole story of uh, orpheus and eurydice i'm not sure how you say that yeah, it's a heartbreaking story. So 
so I love it and this is just perfect absolutely perfect So have any of you guys picked this palette up or are you waiting for the next restock? I missed out on it with the first pre-order and then the official launch but then when they had the restock and did a pre-order I nabbed it then and uh, I'm so glad I did and then it's like the, the painful wait for it to arrive and just bringing that just onto the outer V a little. So I've decided I'm going to drag this out a bit. I think that's going to look really good. Yes. That is looking. And then just bringing it under, you see, just the outer part there. Beautiful. Yeah, Lois Cosmetics is a UK indie brand and one of my absolute favourites. Not only is the quality amazing, the colour story is amazing. But Lois herself is just one of the most wonderful people. She's just such a lovely person. And I'm so happy for her that she has uh, had this reaction to this palette. It's just been amazing. Yeah, she does really deserve all, all of the love. So if you haven't tried any of her palettes yet, I, I highly recommend them. And so far, this is exactly the same amazing quality. Lois's formula is a, a formula I would never want her to change because it's just, it's perfect, just how it is. She's a prime example of, you don't need to be a big brand. You don't need to have like this massive following to be successful. Although Lois has got quite a huge following now, but She has been successful because of the passion, the love, um, the perfectionism, everything she's put into her brand. And she's a, a professional makeup artist. And I think that definitely helps with uh, formulas and stuff, but it doesn't, your personality really goes a long way to helping you as a business owner. And Lois is just such a lovely person, as I've already said. So, yeah. And then just going in with footsteps. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit. And I want to kind of use that to mesh them together a little bit oh yes 
beautiful. Ooh. I cannot tell you guys how how much time I've spent planning looks with this and oh, it's just so beautiful and like the story behind it and the artwork I mean that artwork is just unlike any others it's a very unique palette I'd say the color story is pretty unique the theme looking beautiful so I'm going to take a big fluffy brush again and just just blend out those edges ever so slightly just enough that we don't have a harsh line Okay, so that is looking pretty good. I do want to, what do I want to do on the lash line? Actually, I am going to, because from swatches, this is the best black I've ever seen. So this is Underworld, and I am going to pop Underworld in the out of here oh okay well this black ain't messing around it's really blendable and super pigmented i mean i'm just taking the tiniest bit but you can't really take a big bit with this brush <laughs> so just taking a tiny bit of the time and look look what that's doing it's so so stunning I'm impressed this black is the bomb and just a tiny bit under under the outer Part of the lower lash line there. Yeah, this this black is amazing. Wow. Can you see how easily this is just kind of blending into that green. So, so good. Again, just a little bit under the, on the outer part of the lower lash line. Just making sure to kind of get in that little dip that I have there at the outer edge. Oof. Okay, this is, this is looking amazing. I'm just going to pop on the tiniest bit of the NYX Glitter Primer just because that's generally what I do. So I'm just going to take it and just pat it just all over here, all over here, all over the lid. I'm not being precise, I'm just patting it on.
Okay, so I'm just going to use my finger just to pat the outside there. I'm loving this. So for the outer part of my lid, I'm going in with Forest, which is this amazingly gorgeous shimmer green. And I'm just going to be using that just on the, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. all right then and then next going in with enchanted which is the lighter of the green shimmers hair on my brush do not want that on there and i'm going to take enchanted and just plop her Right there. I'm going to kind of blend over and into forest. Oh, wow. That is stunning. Wow. If you haven't got your hands on this as yet, I highly recommend it. <laughs> this is beautiful colour story is just wow definitely matches the theme perfectly okay so for the inner part I'm going in with poetry which is this one up here and on the inner part she goes look at that this is beautiful. I wanted to get the same kind of gradient on the lid that we have in the crease. Quite well, kind of. So obviously in the crease is just the two colours. And here we've got the three. I just wanted to go in with that deeper one on the outer edge. And I wanted to try as many colours as possible. Oh, this is so pretty. Teresa, you were absolutely spot on. I love it. Absolutely love, 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 love it. Let's take that up and across. So just now tapping over the join to the green there to get them to kind of mesh together a bit. Oh, look at that! It's so beautiful. So beautiful. And these are just picking up amazingly on the brush. Wow. that is beautiful i'm just going to take a little bit of enchanted the uh the lighter of the greens just to just assist with that blend there and then back in with underworld the black just to just make sure we haven't taken away the depth in the outer V there. 
I'm just kind of flicking it into the shimmer a little bit just to make sure there's a blend beautiful That is beautiful and then going in with a bit of woodland the green map I just want to make sure we haven't lost that there's the black Oh, that is beautiful. I was worried about the the black overtaking the green. But uh, it's the other way around. Literally, it just covered, completely covered the black. Wow. So I'm going to go back in with footsteps for the lower lash line and just take it a little bit of time just on the very inner part there. This is looking so beautiful. I knew I was going to love this palette, but I wasn't quite prepared for just how much the tones of these shades are, wow, just wow. They're just my perfect shades, like perfect tone, undertone for my face. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not very good at describing stuff like that, sorry. <laughs> but... Never mind, this is so pretty, so, so pretty. Right, for the inner corner, I'm going in with Eurydice. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, so I'm, so I'm sorry if that is incorrect. But what I am going to do um, with the inner corner is spray my brush so that it gives it the extra pop. Perfect. Make sure I'm holding this so you can see. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm popping a little bit more in there and just kind of blending it into the pink a little bit there. Into the pink, into the inner shimmer, the poetry. <laughs> um, beautiful. I'm going to take some more and just again spray the brush. This look is the first one I decided I wanted to do. Um, so I've, I can see a lot of looks that can be created, but I really, really wanted to do this. It's kind of that real muted like movie pink and then movie pink dusky pink and with the grungy green I just oh, 
I was desperate to put them together and they look so so beautiful it's unreal Wow. And then just taking the tiniest bit of Eurydice and popping that up under the brow bone. As as per usual, when I say a little bit, um, it, it never is a little bit. <laughs> Apart from kind of the outer V when I use that made by Mitchell brush because uh, that kind of makes you have to take just a little. Anyway, I'm going off on a, a tangent here. Wow. Okay, I am loving this. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will come back to show you the finished look and have a chat about this beauty. So don't go anywhere. So here is the finished look. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Oh, this palette. I am so looking forward to playing with more. That colour story is just, just divine. Absolutely beautiful. I, I'm in love already. It's uh, definitely the same amazing formula that I've come to know and love from Lois Cosmetics. And yeah, I would be more than happy to recommend this even just on first impression it's such a beautiful palette and again the artwork just beautiful so if you want to know what else I have popped on my face it will be in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to let me know if any of you are planning on picking this up or whether you already have it let me know in the comments section. Let's have a chat. What do you think? Do you think the colour story is unique like I do? Um, let me know. Let's have a chat. So if you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do a lot of really colourful makeup looks. Um, I'm a huge indie brand supporter and I just love all things makeup so if that sounds like your kind of thing then uh, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very very soon. Goodbye.